Lord Ethan. As I was saying, you are young. And there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. But 300 generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. He was fair and wise, and courageous in battle. And what will they call me? That is for you to define as the new lord. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Keep walking, you craven son of a whore. Move! <coughs> Summon the Lord! We need his judgment. I've done nothing wrong! I was only trying to survive! Lord Ethan. Mist. Who is this man? This craven is a deserter and a thief. This house is doomed! We all fucking know it! Quiet, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Two shields and three spears. Why did you do it? Because I've no wish to die. Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's truth. Right. I've a family to feed. And not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Leave the poor man alone. Yes, go. Lord Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. Hmm. Most of us won't even live to see it. We are in this together. You say that, but it won't be you who's starving come winter. <clears throat> You'll address him as Lord. Lord Ethan. You must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not permit it. He's a thief. We can send him to the war. I will decide. Send him to the war. Schwere Entscheidung. Was machen wir jetzt mit dem Dieb? If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. It will be an injustice, my lord. Unschuldig, ja? Please, my lord. Drei Finger, oha. Our house tends to its people. See, this man is paid and his family is fed. Lord Ethan. You are truly a merciful and noble lord. My lord, this man is a criminal. A brazen thief. He still serves House Forrester and deserves our protection. He's a rat in our grain stores. My lord, we must speak about our gold reserves. Soon. My lord, I thank you for the mercy you've shown me. I will never forget my debt to you and to this house. That was certainly unpleasant, but a lord must meet out punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. You can weigh on any lord. It's a lord's duty, so I did it. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. 
but a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom and experience. Who do you think I should choose? There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Here. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this Bracer upon your chosen Sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your Sentinel will wear this for all to see. I'll make the right choice as Sentinel. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. Und damit sind wir wieder zurück bei Game of Thrones. Schön, dass ihr wieder reinschaltet. Mensch, da ist ja einiges am Machen und Tun hier. Ey. Ich weiß gar nicht, wie ich dazu noch Worte finden soll. Was man hier alles entscheiden muss und... Boah. Es ist auf jeden Fall heftig. Hätte ich nicht gedacht. Es ist auf jeden Fall von der Tiefe der Entscheidung bis jetzt das Heftigste, was ich von Tailgates Games kenne. Und... Ja, mal schauen. Gucken, was der Kleine sagt. Oh, ein schönes Schwert hat er da. Und da freut er sich rüber. Das ist doch schön. Mal gucken, was Ryan da so hat. Careful. Keep at it and you won't have much left. Something to pick your teeth with. No, Ethan. Look at this. All good swords have a name. I call mine Two Brothers. I carved this to give me strength. And this, so I remember. I mean, I could never forget. But, oh, you know, don't you? And what of your brother Asher? Where's his name? There's only two sides to the blade. Besides, he left, so... <laughs> yeah. Hmm, that's aber eine yeah. böse Entscheidung. Someday, I'll have a real one. But not like that one. Only a lord could have that sword. You'll have a good sword. I'm sure of it. I watched you today. I saw what you did to that man. Was he our enemy? A bad man? Everyone keeps talking about them. Enemies. No, he's not our enemy. But he did a bad thing. Then I wish you'd hurt him. People who do bad things need to be punished. Someone did something bad to Father and Roderick. Someone should hurt them even worse. I want a real sword. No one's afraid of wood. I'll find the men who took Roderick someday, and I'll make sure I have a real sword when I do. Hmm. Okay, der Kleine läuft Gefahr, eine verzogene Göre zu werden und äh, ein bisschen narzisstisch veranlagt ist er auch. Ich kann ihn aber verstehen, dass er sich natürlich wegen seinem Vater und seinen ältesten geliebten Bruder natürlich so verhält. Aber dass er seinen verstoßenen Bruder so behandelt. Naja, wer weiß. Vielleicht geht das alles noch sehr viel tiefer. Ich bin mal gespannt. Was ist das hier? Ein Tor. Hm. Sieht nicht sehr stabil aus. Irgendwie nur zwei Wachen. Ein paar Leute, die trainieren. Wo sind unsere Männer? Sind die alle draufgegangen oder was? Haben wir echt nicht viele Leute. Ah, wenn denn der... Bolton kommt, haben wir echt ein Problem. Come on, come on, what did I say? Swords off, slash right, parry, again. Hm, na gut. So, die werden schon mal ausgebildet, das ist gut, gut, gut. Sword up, swing left, parry. Wrong. I didn't know so dogs could hold swords. A word? Of course, my lord. I have many decisions to make. I wanted your advice. What's the state of our defenses? 
Are these men ready for what's coming? This lot? Ready? No, but they will be. We post anyone who can hold a spear along the parapet, up where they won't get much scrutiny, and put our meanest, nastiest-looking brutes front and centre. That'll show Ramsay we're a force in our own right. You've got to project power, especially when you're weakened. Thank you, Sir Roiland. I'll let you get back to training these men. Thank you, my lord. And, uh, I'll be sure to watch out for more deserters. After today, I suspect there'll be more to come. Ja, aber das bringt ja auch nichts, wenn wir die Männer zerstümmeln, ne? Gucken. Yes, my lord. I need to name a sentinel. Ah, you do. And it's good you came to me. I know this house. And everyone here knows me. They know I can hold the reins or wield the sword in equal measure. I'm the man you need. And might I remind you, it was Duncan Tuttle who sent Garrett to the war. He undermined your authority and made you look weak to the White Hills. I would never do that to you. And if you pardon me saying so, I think your father would be proud. Duncan Tuttle is a good man. Aye, a fine man. Why is he? But he has no business being sentinel. He likes to talk. But now's the time for action. So, when will you declare your decision, my lord? Tonight, at the small council meeting. Very good. I trust your judgment, my lord. Hmm. Er könnte natürlich unser Berater werden. Er trainiert die Leute und ist der Mann fürs Grobe, aber... Ist es das wert? Ich bin ja mehr so... Erst reden, dann schlagen, ne? Nicht schlagen und dann fragen, war es, ne? Noch Steven Seagal mit nur hin. Wer ist er denn hier? Malcolm. Mittendrin oder was? Ich weiß noch nicht, ob ich den nehme. Ethan. Or should I say Lord Ethan? Hello, Uncle Malcolm. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do. Showing mercy to a man who admits his guilt. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow. At first light. Uncle, why are you packing? You're not going somewhere, are you? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? She has asked me to return with him. To help the house. He said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here, that I'll be of no help to you in Essos. She insisted. I will hold, of course. Until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. But you know that just as well. She's my mother. Of course I'll be gentle. I know you will. You're good-hearted, my lord. That is your true strength. But my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Sir Roiland is the man for the job. He'd be a fine choice. And I'd trust him. Why Sir Roiland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Roiland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not with the likes of Ramsay Snow. Thank you, Uncle. Ethan, I need to talk to you. Hmm. Mother told me Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Did she? I knew we could rely on Mira. She always thinks of family above all else. Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. But right now I'm more concerned about you. I saw what you did to that man. I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrod being sent to the war without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. But I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but... What? Ethan, please. Tell me. What do you suggest I do? You must be strong, decisive. You are the lord of this house. Remember, 
You're just as capable as Asher or Roderick ever were. I know it. I only wish you did too. You have always given me good advice. Thank you. <sighs> okay. Unsere Zwillingsschwester meint, wir werden schon das Richtige tun. Unser Onkel Malcolm wird auf jeden Fall losreiten, um unseren älteren Bruder zu holen. Oder ihn zumindest zu suchen. Verdammt. Und er will auf jeden Fall auch den alten Mann, den Schwerttrainer, haben. Er will den kriegerischen Weg. Das ist schwer. Das ist echt schwer. Our provisions are rather low, my lord. I made the count again, just to be sure. But it doesn't look good. How bad is it? How long could we hold the house? We couldn't withstand a siege, my lord. If the Boltons or the White Hills cut us off and wait us out, we'd only last a fortnight. But there are steps we can take. In the past, we've demanded food from the small folk to replenish our stores. We can do it again, if you'd like. We've done it before in desperate times. The last long winter, my family had to give all our pigs to the house. If that's what's necessary to keep the house safe, then we must. Aye, a hard choice, but it's what has to be done. I'll see to the arrangements, my lord. Okay, Nahrung geht auch zu Ende. Probleme ohne Ende, ne? Mal schauen, gucken wir mal an. Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. As lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. Actually, I wanted to ask, why did you send Garrett away? I did it for your own protection, my lord. Garrett had to go. By sending him away myself, I thought it would keep you blameless in the eyes of the White Hills. I only hope to give you an advantage, and I regret any action you disapprove of. I understand, and you're forgiven. Thank you, my lord. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. Ich würde noch nicht sagen, dass wir ihnen den Armreif geben. Das werden wir das später machen. Aber auf jeden Fall müssen wir mal gucken. Er hat auf jeden Fall auch gegen unseren, ja, unseren Willen gehandelt, den, den er uns gar nicht erst gefragt hat. Mal gucken, was der gute Doc dazu sagt. Was soll denn das sein? Eine Kanone? Ach Quatsch, das ist Holz. Entschuldigung, das sah gerade aus, sah gerade so aus. Halt. Meister. Meister. Yes, Lord Ethan. I see you've spoken to a number of people. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? What is it you're doing over here? Admiring the ironwood, my lord. I studied it at the Citadel. The wood may be black, but I see gold. An entire forest of gold. What do you mean? It is our greatest asset, my lord. Why not give some of our ironwood to House Bolton and have them leave us be? We could ransom ourselves. You can hardly put a price on your own life or the lives of those you love. How much do we have to give, Maester? From here to Wolfswood Creek and then across the next two ridges, it should be enough to satisfy Ramsay Snow, I imagine. Bloodlust can often be sated by gifts and gold. Hmm. My lord, are you now ready to name your sentinel? Ich würde mal sagen, ja. Aber ich bin mir immer noch nicht sicher, weil wir wollen ja weiterspielen. Yes, Maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. Tja, dann wollen wir mal schauen, wer unser Berater wird.
Der Diplomat oder der Krieger? You may sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Duncan, Roiland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on with it. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel. But I have made my decision. Ja. Yeah. Roiland oder Duncan? Krieg oder Frieden? Krieger oder Diplomat? Wir haben schon so viel Mist gebaut und so viel ist schon passiert. Wir müssen das ein bisschen diplomatisch klären. Und deswegen wähle ich Duncan. Duncan Tuttle, you will be my sentinel. Tuttle! This, this is reckless. Lord Ethan has made his choice. I will not disappoint you, my lord. Now, Sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsey Snow? Our scouts say he's only a day's ride from here, with no time to waste. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. There's no need to panic. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Ignore Sir Roiland. You named me Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the bloody small council. Lord Ethan deserves to hear from all of us. I will hear from my sentinel. Please. Sir Roiland is clearly able and ready to take up arms, but the rest of our soldiers are not. We need to take a cunning approach. Diplomacy can be a sharper instrument than a sword. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Gentlemen, please. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf, but we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. I trust Mira's judgment. I don't doubt she did everything within her power to help us. There must be other options. We must give him whatever he wants and be done with it. It's too dangerous to do otherwise. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah. The wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! My new Sentinel favors a certain approach and I agree. I shall use diplomacy with Lord Snow. I would be foolish to pick a fight without negotiating first. I'll offer our allegiance and try to reach a reasonable agreement. If you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks out. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then, Let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. Invite him into this hall and meet him face to face, lord to lord. Ramsay Snow is no lord. That's absurd. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Make him wait. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. Lord Ethan? I will meet him in the Great Hall. A wise move, my lord. It's careless. Can't you see Tuttle is steering you wrong? That's enough, Roiland. 
Lord Ethan has given his command. How many years have I served this house? I cannot listen to that bloody idiot anymore. Forgive me, my lord, but you are not ready to be lord of this house. You're likely to get us all killed. Sit down at once. Apologies, my son. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow in the Great Hall, and we will not offer our ironwood. And don't worry, Lord Ethan. I will stand beside you, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. Na, das kann ja noch was werden. Jetzt kommt der Alte und dem müssen wir jetzt auch noch die Füße küssen. My lord, I have fought for this family for many years. Do not forget that. Ganz sicher, das werden wir schon nicht. Hoffentlich habe ich die richtige Wahl getroffen. There will always be those who question your leadership, which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told me you want to bring him back. He's a skilled fighter, but what's more, he has the will to fight, a hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister, and we need all the help we can get. Why would you bring him back after you exiled him? He exiled himself. He has no desire to rule, and that's not what I want either. Asher is volatile. But that is his strength, too. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said... Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it... He didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, your father was furious. But you were in danger, and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities. But you do not have that anger inside you. I'm not like that. But I don't need to be, do I? No. But you need someone who is standing beside you. I'm trying to do what's best for this family. What this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. Es wird gut sein, wenn wir ihn holen. Wir könnten Malcolm hier gebrauchen, auf jeden Fall, aber... Fine. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. Brauchen Asher, auf jeden Fall. Auch wenn wir morgen Malcolm brauchen könnten. Thank you, Ethan. I'm glad you will let me do this. <sighs> Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. <sighs> Na ja. Morgen wird ein interessanter Tag.